Well, Scott, there haven't been many birdies at that final hole, the 18th today, but you find one to go into the solo, solo lead heading into tomorrow. Just tell us how you feel after that battle is done. Yeah, you know, after yesterday, certainly the whole day seemed a little uh, more straightforward, but uh, it still wasn't easy. You know, the greens were considerably quicker um, and there was still there was still a decent amount of breeze. Um, but it's funny, you say that I, when I was on the last green, I noticed no one had made birdie. Um, so, yeah, I was happy to knock in that six-footer. Now, you haven't won since 2012, but the last three outings you've had here in Abu Dhabi, you've picked up a top 20 every time. What's that final ingredient that you feel you need to go one step further and secure the win? Uh, well, that's a great question, or else I maybe would have won. Uh, yeah, is it 10 years? Jeez. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it's all I can do is play whatever shot's in front of me. And, um, you know, I've got to just try and stay, all those good cliches, stay in the moment, um, just try and hit the best shot I can. And in general, have you been feeling quite calm and in control of your game this week? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I didn't do a whole lot in the in the off-season. I, I was pretty comfortable with where my game was uh, when we finished in Dubai. Um, I actually practiced quite a bit, probably in December, and then had, had a decent break and then only really started practicing again about 10 days ago. Um, so, yeah, I'm uh, glad it was all still there. You certainly look relaxed. And just finally, tomorrow a win could add your name to a very exclusive group, a Rolex winner. What would that mean? That would obviously be massive. You know, it would be a game changer to win a, a tournament of this, this stature. Um, yeah, there's some definitely been some great champions here. Uh, but it was an awful long way to go. Great playing, Scott, and good Cheers. luck tomorrow. Thank you.